Gary Simon from GarySimon.net and this is a 10 minute video logo tutorial in Illustrator and one of the reasons it's a 10 minute tutorial is because the maximum length in which you can upload a video is uh, 10 minutes in uh, YouTube so uh, basically I went on IRC and I asked who wants a free logo and someone messaged me and they gave me the details and this isn't something I've pre-designed so you're gonna see me uh, talking fast and Design like a crack addict, probably. So, uh, go to File New. I always start with just 700 by 500, but you can use whatever you want as long as you have enough uh, room to design. So, uh, hit CTRL in plus one, that makes it a 100% uh, viewable area. And I'm just going to start out by just typing the name. It's uh, a shed company, they sell garden sheds, and it's called FTK Sheds. So, Let's uh, hold shift and drag this out. And always just uh, try to find the right font to use for it. And always just try to find uh, something that really seems like it might stick out well. I kind of like how sheds is done in that font. So I'm just going to move this over. And I'm going to hit CTRL C and then CTRL F to duplicate it double click it just change that to FTK that way we maintain the same size move it over and let's keep going down the list I want something that's a little bit more bold actually I think I know one font right off the top of my head it's called Fertigo it's a free font oops why is it doing that F, 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 F. There we go. All right. All right, it's a little bit larger than it, so I'm gonna scale it down just a little bit. All right, now we already have our uh, font selection right there, and it looks pretty decent as it is. Now I'm gonna select them both, and then I'm gonna hit CTRL, Shift, and O at the same time. That converts them to, uh, to an outline, which means I can add things like gradients by clicking up here. And uh, you can't do that with regular text. Once they're in outlines, though, you can't really you can't uh, change the text itself, though. So you have to be sure that this is the font you want. Also, hit CTRL and H, and that hides those uh, vertices. Now hit G, and just go straight down. Go back up to Select Tool. We're gonna make this green. So select the white one and choose RGB and then go to file document color mode make sure that's RGB so we're going to choose just a, uh, like a green color and I kinda like how that looks just right there as it is so now let's try to come up with a uh, symbol of some sort now instead of just putting a shed here which would be really really cliche or a garden tool uh, you want something that it's unique in and of itself. That way you can develop a, a brand, you know, something that people remember. People are more likely to remember something that's unique rather than just seeing a, like a hoe or a, uh, some type of garden tool or a shed here. So one, one idea I have is maybe just to use a few blades of grass. Uh, so I'm going to zoom up with the magnifying glass and I'm going to use the pen tool and it's going to draw out a blade of grass. Now hit CTRL H to show those outlines again. All right, hit ALT, take off any direction. Uh, I don't like how that went, so I hit CTRL Z real quick, undo it. All right, connect them. And now, uh, let's do another one. and maybe one more all I'm doing is just hitting ALT and then left clicking on it CTRL Z, I'm going to do that again okay, now, sometimes that'll happen, you want to go up, choose this tool and just adjust that line a little bit okay, because you don't want it overlapping. Alright, 
Now, that doesn't look really good in and of itself, just having these uh, three blades of grass. I'm going to add like a flower or something to the top of this one. So I'm going to really quickly just draw this out because I know that 10 minute time frame's coming up real soon. Just hitting the ALT key each time I do that. Alright. Now let's see what I'm doing for time. Alright, it's 5.57 so far. Okay, so now I'm going to make this radial, this gradient. Hit G just to change it a tad bit. Alright, now the lighter part of the green, we're going to make that maybe like a reddish orange. And then this black part, we're just going to make white. Actually, no, we could change it to RGB and maybe just a very faint yellow. All right, to hit G again. Let's work with that a little bit more. All right, uh, hit CTRL and one to get back to normal view. Select it and let's just hold shift and make it a little bit larger. All right, now let's move it over. All right. Uh, in and of itself, it's not it's not all that bad looking. Uh, let's make it larger here. Now to give it some difference, let's uh, select sheds and hold CTRL and H, and let's just make that a solid color. Maybe let's change it to maybe a darker green or. nearly black. Alright, now let's give it a uh, an actual slogan of some sort. I'm just going to make some something up. Uh, sheds that dominate. There we go. Now let's just hold shift and drag that out. And maybe let's try the original font. Uh, that sheds in shed is in. Uh, that's not it. It's something down here further. There we go. One of the things about the, all the fonts that I've used, they're all free, so you can find them if you just look at their their name up here. Okay, let's see here. Let's uh, CTRL, Shift, and O it. Just to make it to outlines, hit CTRL H. And let's just uh, use the eyedropper tool so we can make it that green. And there we go. It's uh, actually a very simple logo. Uh, but some of the simplest logos are the best. But if I had more time, I'd probably be able to think of maybe something that might be a tad bit more unique than this. But at the same time I do think it's a lot better than just having a garden tool or something or, or, a, or a shed uh, that way people will kinda remember it a little bit more uh, trying to think if there's any other touches I, I'd like to add uh, sometimes instead of adding a, a, a slogan you could just put the uh, put like a dot com down here if, if they're primarily a web based business but there you go that's pretty much it